Guys, before today's video does start, I just want to announce Minecadia Prisons Arkham Realm is going to be releasing this Saturday, October 22nd at 3 p.m. EST. There's going to be Bedrock and Java support. I am going to be playing here on live stream the release. So yeah, make sure to hop on the release and play with me. All right, guys. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a ton of PvP with this set that I'm currently making. Uh, I'm not actually finished with it uh, quite yet. I got the, uh, I don't even know. It's kind of mixed, but it's like five, six, seven lore orc set. I'm going to try to get this to a 10 lore in today's video and do a ton of PvP. Shout out to this guy saying slash redeem Robbie. But yeah, that brings me to the next point. Make sure to do slash redeem Robbie. Log on the server. The server IP is robbie.mykidia.com. Highly recommend you guys join this using this IP. It's not too late to start the server. Literally just reset a couple days ago. And once you guys hop onto the factions pirate realm, make sure to type slash redeem space Robbie once again for 250 free gold and $10,000 in-game balance. And that'll help you guys get started off on the server. And now that we got that out of the way, let's just get straight into today's video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is... Uh, the progress on the set obviously i kind of mentioned it already i've added a couple enchants to it i think i added uh angelic to everything and i added tank to a couple things and enlightened i just added a couple enchants here and there to the uh set i'm not going to be pvping with it yet i want to see is uh the armor orbs no okay so armor orbs actually enabled tomorrow at 4 p.m that'll be like right when i get home so uh, once armor orbs enable i'm gonna uh make this a 10 lore tomorrow i'm gonna try to get into eight lore tonight or something i don't know if i'll actually have enough time to do that because i gotta go to bed soon i got school tomorrow but uh, yeah, let's just get straight into the next point. So I just wanted to update you guys, but we got pretty much three of these jack-o'-lantern crates. These just released on the server store. These are actually, from what I heard, these things are insane, okay? You can win so much good stuff out of here. You can get a Chroma, Flaming Hollow. You can get the Founder Mask, Kraken Ring, Golden Knife. Like, there's so much good loot out of this you can get. So you already know where we got to go. We got to go to the Warp Plains. This is literally where I go to open all my crates whenever I get good stuff. I go over here and I literally just stand around this like little lake thing. This is where we always go. So I'm going to open this uh, first jack-o'-lantern crate right here. Hopefully we can get something good out of this. All right, we got a multi-mask with a fisherman, panther, and sorcerer mask. We got SSGW crate, pet candies. We got some other random stuff. Uh, exhibition level skips. I don't think that, that's good uh hollow tag i think that's pretty let's just go with the middle one right here and we got a mystery signal level hunter pet i don't think that's probably the best thing i could have got leviathan armor piece mystery side item I'll, I'll gladly take the mystery level hunter season pet let's just open that real quick and we got a spirit pet that's actually not too bad i don't think i'll gladly take that and we also got these two event loot bags i'm gonna pop that open we got a 100k xp right there that's pretty good an ore crate that's not too bad at all because you only get one armor piece now and we got boots okay i'll gladly take it random mask we got a sorcerer mask yeah that wasn't too great honestly let's open the next jack lantern crate right here hopefully you can get something good out of this one uh comment down uh halloween or something like that yeah just comment down halloween down below in our hearts your comment if you guys are watching at this point in the video and make sure to comment that down below as well if you guys want to see more crate openings because uh, i can definitely do more i'm going to try to start doing more of those i like doing the crate openings and obviously you guys like them too from what i've seen so let's go with the left side right here i'm going to choose this one and we got one spooky loot box okay i'll gladly take that the spooky loot boxes are really good and we could have gotten a spooky loot box from any of them okay that's perfect all right, so I'm going to have to store this in a PV. Let's go like PV14, something really random. And I'm just going to store everything I've gotten so far in here. Uh, we got a bunch of KD rolls. We got some decent stuff. And we still have a spooky loot box and one more of these jack-o'-lantern crates to go. So let's just open the spooky loot box right now. Let's place this down right here. Hopefully, we can get something pretty good out of this. Let's see. Uh, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? We got a mystery ceiling level 100 pet again. Okay, that's pretty good. Armor orbs, we got that. That's actually pretty good. We got some holy water. That's decent. Let's open this mystery level 100 season pet. And what did we get? Uh, I, I opened it and it literally gave me nothing. What? Oh, we got a spirit pet. Okay. I thought that's the one I got last time, but I forgot. I already put it away. So, oh, we got a shilling scape blue bag. That's pretty good. Uh, we got $11 million. Okay. That's actually really good. I need money and we got a lot of XP as well. So I'll, I'll gladly take that. That's actually really good. We got lucky 10 too. I'm going to be putting that on my set probably. Actually, no, I already have Lucky, so I'll probably just sell it, to be honest. But yeah, let's go ahead and open the final Jack-O-Lantern crate right here. Hopefully, we can get something good out of this. Uh, let's just open this right here and uh, see what we can get. We got another multi-mask with some Kadia rolls. We got an SRGW crate, some more event loot bags. Yeah, these were definitely overhyped. I thought they were going to be so much better. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky, but from what I heard, these crates were supposed to be like super good, and uh, it's not really showing me too much good stuff, to be honest. Uh, oh, I should have chose that one, I think, but we got a spooky loot box. I'll gladly take that. Let's just pop this open here. I'm going to have to store my stuff away again real quick. But yeah, let's just go ahead and place this down right here. This is the final thing in the crate opening for today's video. Hopefully, you can get something decent out of this. Please give me like a mystery admin. Item. Okay, that's not too bad. A voyage portal. I think those are still pretty good. I don't know if they got nerfed or something. Mystery level 100 pet. Kraken pet. Okay, level 100 Kraken pet. That is going to be very helpful. I will gladly take that. Shillings cave loot bag. We got uh, 20 mil. Holy crap. Okay, we're up to 35 mil now. That is actually great. We're going to be able to use that money to finish our set, which is going to be amazing. That is going to save me so much time. So I'm glad we got a lot of money from that. Mystery admin item. We got a zinger. I don't know how to feel about that. I probably honestly will never use this. And this will probably sit in my e-chest for the entire map. 
But you know what? I'll take it. We're going to go PV14. And we have already like a full PV of stuff. So we're going to go PV15 now and start the rest of the stuff in here. So yeah, we actually got some decent stuff out of that. That was not too bad of a crate opening. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be done with the crate openings now for today's video. So uh, yeah, make sure to comment down Halloween uh, or something like that. I think I said Halloween. Comment down Halloween. I'll heart your comment. And uh, yeah, make sure to comment that down below if you guys want to see more crate openings. But yeah, I'm going to cut the clip here, guys, and I will bring you guys back when we're actually working on the set. But yeah, guys, I'm going to cut the clip here, and I will just bring you guys back when we are uh, made some progress on our set or doing some PvP or something like that. All right, guys, so it is now the next day, and uh, I've been working on the set quite a bit. We've gotten a 10 lore leggings, we've got 10 lore uh, chest plate, and a 10 lore helmets, and uh, a 9 lore boots. So we're getting pretty close. There's just one guy gatekeeping this enchant right here. He's trying to tell me it's worth like 10 million, and then he aged it for 20 mil. And uh, this enchant is not worth that much. If you look over here, this just shows how much of a clown this guy is. You can get a literal eight lore pirate leggings with the same enchant on there, plus all the other ones you need for a G set. And uh, it's the same exact price, which I think is kind of funny. So yeah, we're going to have to wait for somebody to actually sell me one because I just cannot get one for some reason. I've got judgment on all my other pieces in this entire set, but uh, I just can't get it for my boots. I can't get one more of them. So we've almost got the set complete. Uh, we just need to uh, get that one final enchant. And if I go like PV3 or something, yeah, it's right here. We have a Peacekeeper as well that we got from a crate that we opened. Uh, I don't remember when it was, but I think it was in like the first video or something. Or maybe was it in today's video? I don't even know if it was from the Jack o Lantern crates or not. But we got this somehow. So we're going to be using a Peacekeeper with this God set right here as well, which is uh, going to be perfect. Hopefully you do a lot of damage with it. But yeah, boys, I've been sitting here saying buying Judgment 5 message me good percent only in chat for like the last 10, 15 minutes. And nobody seems to have one, which is just really unfortunate right now. So... I don't know. I wanted to do some PvP in today's video. Still probably will with this set. I'm just going to have to wait until I get the side's last enchant. So I'll just bring you guys back once I get the final enchant for the boots and we can finish the set. All right, guys. So we just managed to get a Judgment 5 for 5 mil. I've uh, shout out to Centering or something like that. Yeah, this guy right here. He sold me one for $5 million. A much more reasonable price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do slash blender. I have a judgment five and I'm going to blend this judgment three 85% into it. And that's going to make it a 100%. So that's going to be perfect. And we're going to throw that on our boots. And that is going to complete the 10 lore set guys. And I just need to add an armor orb. Let's add the judgment. There we go. It worked. And we got the transmog scroll. There we go. We got a perfect 10 lore orc set. This is beautiful. Now, the only things I really need is a hybrid chart and like a flaming hollow or a chrome or something. I'm going to do H search hybrid. I want to see if there's any hybrid shards. Yeah, there's none on AH or anything. Is there any like flaming hollows or something? Oh, there is actually 400 mil. Nah, that's crazy. I do not have 400 mil, so we're not going to be getting a flaming hollow, unfortunately. I do want to try to get a hybrid shard or something. Can I search like shard? Is that going to work? Oh, ooh, uh, these are all depth shards. Oh, wait, there actually is some for sale. 150 mil uh i don't know dude that's pretty expensive still i might try to sell some stuff to get some money to buy a hybrid chart because if you don't actually know a hybrid chart is going to give me the abilities of every crew on the entire server which is going to be very essential i'm going to want to put that on my leggings so i'm going to try to save up some money and i'll just bring you guys back when i actually get a hybrid chart uh guys i was literally just opening some of these uh kda roll tickets i was doing the first three roll tickets that i had and i was gonna try to get a bunch of money from it to uh, buy a hybrid chart because i already have almost enough to buy one and we actually ended up getting a mystery star item which is actually perfect we have a chance to win a hybrid chart from one of these if i do such star items it's gonna give me one of these random items and honestly i would be happy with like any of these please don't give me a grappler i really hope it doesn't give me a grappler let's see what we get though we got a hybrid chart okay perfect that is actually gonna be very nice to have uh, i'm gonna just put that straight on my leggings and there we go now we have a hybrid shard that actually worked out perfect i opened my first kda rolls i was gonna open some sgw crates as well that i got from my other crate openings i did and i just had them stored and i was gonna try to get a little bit of money to uh buy one of the hybrid charts on age it's like 150 mil or something i think and uh, we just saved ourselves a lot of money there but yeah guys now that we have the set pretty much finished i think we're gonna go ahead and do some pvp so i'll bring you guys back once we're actually doing some pvp and uh in the call with the faction and everything all right guys so we're about to make a really big trade right now i'm gonna do such withdraw 110 or 110 mil not 100 mil i'm gonna withdraw that and i'm gonna get these sgw crates right here i'm gonna do such trade one pock this is one of my friends he's kind of hooking me up here with a trade so we're doing 110 mil and uh three of these sgw crates for a level 100 chicken pet and he's throwing in a bunch of other stuff by the looks of it holy crap yeah uh basically i'm just gonna go pvping with him uh he's one of my friends he's kind of hooking it up shout out to him uh yeah now we got a level 100 chicken pet which is gonna give us speed four which is actually essential you wouldn't believe how much of a difference that will make in pvp just that little bit of speed so yeah now we have speed four which is gonna be perfect we're gonna be able to run faster than most people unless they have a chicken pet because if you have a higher level of speed than somebody else you're gonna be able to combo them so much easier that's why it makes such a big difference we got this level 100 shield pet now as well i was rocking at level 51 shout out to one puck again we got a punch bow which I, I i will uh definitely use if i need to like escape and we got a soul gem with 10k souls on it so that's perfect right there 
So yeah, guys, we're about to do some PvP. We're gonna do probably some wild PvP. Just accept some people's wild PvP, like this guy right here or something. We're gonna try to get some kills, and I will bring you guys back when we're actually doing that. All right, guys, we just got the wild PvP set up right here. I'm not gonna show it off too much because I think there's actually already people here. I don't know where, but uh, I'm pretty sure other people have accepted this wild PvP. I got a faction member PvPing with me. This is what the derp looks like, our little trap we got over here, and then I think there's other claims already nearby. Uh, yeah, right over here. If we go south. Yeah, there's a guy who's already chunk busted right over here. He's probably in the trap down there he's making or something. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, yeah, we're going to try to get some PvP. Oh, there's a guy over here. I don't know who this is. This guy looks like he has a pretty good set on him or something. Um, And he's probably in a pretty big faction. And he's got a flaming hall. He's got some good stuff on him. He's taking a lot of damage, though. Holy crap. He's pearling away. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to chase. It's only this guy by the looks of it. Oh, never mind. There's another one over here, too. F show smog X. I don't know what faction this guy's in. He's in he's in a 10 man. Okay, monkeys. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know how many are actually gonna end up showing up here, but uh there's two already, so I don't know. It looks like these guys are setting up a pre-pearl thing, so they're gonna probably pre-pearl and jump down in our trap and try to kill us. That's probably what's gonna happen, so uh, I just need to be ready for that. Yep, there goes the water for the pre-pearls. Oh, and one just hit me out of the sky. Okay, uh, I'm on one right now. I'm not, I'm getting jumped by two. Okay, we're gonna have to pearl back over here. Uh, my faction member. Oh, there's three people outside of our trap now already. This is not looking too great to start off. Okay, yeah, they're gonna pre-pearl. I hit. I just hit one down. I just went down. Okay. Can I try to quick drop one or something? I have a Kraken pet, so maybe, maybe. Oh my gosh, it takes so much. Holy crap, I take so much. My faction member is gonna die probably. I need him to get in here. Uh, no, he's probably. He looks like he's good right now. Maybe. Uh, dude, these guys do so much damage with the Kraken pets. This is kind of scary. I don't like PvPing with water and Kraken pets, bro. I need my faction member to get in. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Okay, okay, we're good. We're safe right now. All right, I'm coming back out to fight this guy. He does a lot of damage. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm taking a lot. Holy crap, dude. I don't like how there's Kraken level 100 pets. I do have a Kraken level 100. This guy's... Okay, yeah, it's pre pro landed, but... I don't know. The Kraken level 100s are just crazy. The fact that they do so much damage when you're in water. If you don't know, you get a damage buff when you're in water, and it's kind of crazy. It's kind of broken, but uh, yeah, I don't know. You just take so much damage in water, and it's kind of scary. We're already getting outnumbered just uh, seconds into this PvP being up, or minutes, not seconds, but yeah, this thing's been up for only a couple minutes, and there's already a big faction here. It looks like they're coming back. There's one over here. Four sets? Okay, I just got told that there's four different sets here. Uh, yeah, we should probably get out. There's four uh, people here in God sets. Yeah, let's let's not do this. All right, guys, so I'm about to do a wrist duel against another person in a 10 lore orc set with the Hellraiser. So I think their set is slightly better than mine, or not the set, their weapon. Uh, what is this guy's name? Uh, CM Builders, I think. I'm gonna send him a risk inventory duel right there and hopefully he accepts yeah so this guy's in a full tender oh he has a eight lord leggings i didn't realize that okay he has a hybrid shard um a decent mask on it and the hellraiser okay so we should be able to win this because he doesn't have a 10 lord leggings i didn't really realize that but uh i thought he had a full 10 lord but i'll still do it anyways oh this guy's in my faction i didn't even realize that oh my gosh okay so i'm just gonna duel him i guess uh he has a uh, eight lord leggings obviously like i said before so we're probably gonna do a lot of damage is my guess uh if i can actually hit him that'd be great holy crap i'm getting absolutely smoked yeah i can just tell i do so much more damage than him i don't know if it's just my weapons better i think it's just the leggings he probably takes so much more yeah he's still getting a ton of damage right there we almost quick dropped him already that's crazy okay i didn't even have my soul gem on so i'm gonna turn that on and then uh, i can have some more enchants proc and i'll probably do even more damage so that would uh be helpful if i had a soul gem oh i need a pot i'm gonna quick drop holy crap both of us do a lot of damage so i don't know this is my first fight in like forever so i'm kind of getting tossed uh, i haven't played this game in uh, a couple days so yeah i've been busy with school hopefully you can quick drop him right here though i just want to get a quick drop i want to See if I can quick drop somebody. Okay, now I'm destroying him. Holy crap, he's gonna die here. There's no way. Okay, he didn't die. Only thing I don't like about mine KDF PvP is you really have to watch your hearts because out of nowhere, people will do so much damage. Like right there, that guy just did like five hits. Oh my, I'm gonna die, dude. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Like out of nowhere, if somebody gets a combo on you and they get really lucky with their enchant procs, like they'll do so much damage. It's kind of crazy. I'm not used to it at all. Even though I played mine KDF, this is like my fourth map on mine KDF. I think something like that. And like, I don't know, bro. I'm just not good at the game, I guess. All right, guys, we're going to do a rematch. So I'm going to send him a duel right here real quick. And uh, hopefully this time I can. I need to like focus up or something. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not good at mine KDF PvP, guys. I promise I'm not that bad of a PvP. I'm actually decent. I swear. Mine KDF is just like completely different. And I don't know what it is about mine KDF, but I just cannot get used to it. I'm just not good at PvP on here. Uh, I don't know why, but my hybrid shard's not proccing. There we go. Okay, so I have to waste two pots right off the bat just to heal myself back up to full. But we're good. Still going to win this one. I just need to focus up here. He's probably He just used some sort of pet. I don't know what to use. I'm going to use a resistance pet because, holy crap, I'm getting walked. I'm focusing too much on my heart. So I just need to, like, be more confident and not quick dropping and then actually focus on comboing. I feel like that's what it is. And he got spectral or something. Did he have, like, a chroma? What is that? He said he won't use it. Okay, sure. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was really, so. 
Okay, I need to uh, get, uh, keep using my IG pet. I feel like I'm on cooldown for it, but I don't know. What is the cooldown? It's like 20 seconds or something. Oh, he's got a creeper pet. That's what he was using. Here. That, I think that's what that uh, particle stuff is. Oh, and he's going to die here. He's on zero. No way. He's dead. He's got to be dead. Please die. No, he didn't die. Okay, there's no way. I, he's literally on zero. I, I'm going to die. No, dude, come on. Okay, now we're getting combos on him. Oh, this is bad. I, I keep... What? I was at like full health a second ago. Dude, how does this game work, bro? I don't understand this. He said he had half a heart. Yeah, he was literally on zero, it said for me. That's crazy. I'm going to go watch that clip back. I want to see how many hearts I had. I swear I had like a full like hot bar of health and then he just two tapped me out of nowhere, which is what I don't understand about my KV the, uh, PVP. It's really the only thing I dislike about the server is like the PVP. I just can't stand it, but oh dude all right well he's giving the setback shout out to this guy again for actually like not stealing my set he's a faction member so i hope he wouldn't but um yeah shout out to him for not uh taking my stuff that's so annoying bro though i wish i was like good at my kda pvp i wish it was actually decent i should probably like practice my kda pvp more maybe i'll do some duels tonight or something 